must win for Andrescu and Pliskova to keep semifinal hopes alive. And look at on that return of serve of Andrescu, who actually was up to love in the opening set, plants the left leg, and then her leg just goes out from underneath her. And she says it was a meniscus, which is on the inside of the left knee. She had it no, taped. I think she should push it in that, in that situation. I don't I don't want to stop, she tells her coach, Sylvain Bruno. Leg heavily taped. She still tries to carry on. Cannot move, is clearly hobbled in her movement. And then this is when she just calls, calls it quits. Probably a wise decision given everything she's been through this season. Remember, she was 8-1 and one against top 10 players coming into this week. So she's now 8-3 and three and will presumably finish the year that way as she leaves the court earlier than she had hoped. So Andrescu is out of the tournament. Pliskova gets a win. And we want to update the standings for you after two stages of the round robin. As Tracy said a moment ago, Svitolina is through into the semifinal. So we highlight her name. The other spot in the purple group is going to go to the winner of Friday's match between Halep and Pliskova. Pretty straightforward in that group, right? I like straightforward, so we don't have to do as much math. OK, the other group is not straightforward. All four players are still alive. We're not going to give you the whole sets in the games nonsense. All we'll tell you is that the three Bs on that list, right, Barty, Bencic, Burtons, all control their own destiny. If they win their match, they're in. Kvitova needs to win her match and needs help along the lines, and, and that's all we'll tell you. And then it might go into, down to sets. It's, it, it makes it to Jimmy's exactly. head will explode no, will. if we start <laughs> to do them. But can I circle back to Andrescu, because obviously it's been a dream year for her, but how concerned are we that between the shoulder and now the knee that this young woman is having a hard time staying healthy? Yeah, I think a little more concerned now. The shoulder took her out for a long time, basically from Miami all the way Played the French Open for one match, had to retire, had to default in the second round, all the way to when she won in Canada and then miraculously won the U.S. Open with so few matches under her belt. But this looks like another big injury. So it is concerning. She's only 19 years old for someone who was so injured as a teenager. I, I know the feeling. So hmm. these next couple of months, I hope she really spends a lot of time in the gym and just shores shores everything up. I mean, if it's a meniscus, she's going to have to have a surgery, but it's not a bad surgery if, yeah. if they can just get in there. It can be four weeks, six weeks, something like that. Usually arthroscopic for yes. the meniscus, as we show you. The match is coming up beginning at 4 a.m. from Shenzhen. We start with Barty against Kvitova, then Bencic against Burtons. Remember, Burtons in as an alternate actually has a chance not only to advance, but to win her group.